everyone, I'm Mariana. So summer is over. Does that mean football season? No, it means hunting season. Rifle season is starting up in about a month. So that means for me, going camping on my favorite mountain. I'm not gonna tell you where, because this is my secret campground where there are plenty of deer and bear. So the agenda is do some scouting, put up my trail cam, camo painting my truck, not the whole truck, but uh, a small part of it. So we'll see how that works out. And look, that's a bug right here. And other than that, I'm just going to hang out and relax. I brought my dog and I will just enjoy nature. So come with me and let's go see how this weekend turns out. So here I am, just hanging out at the campfire, me and my dog. I got um, here kind of late. I was tired. I'm a teacher and this was our first week going back to school. So I was just dead tired. I even took a little nap. So by the time I left, it was about 6.30. So there were a couple of obstacles in the road, lots of dead trees falling on the road. And there was one I actually had to move. First I kind of panicked because it seemed really big, really long. and. I was like, there is no way I can move it out of the way, but it was actually really light. So by the time I got here, it was pretty dark. I had to have my truck running with the headlights on so I could set everything up. But I knew it was going to happen. I've done it before. It's not a big deal. So everything is set up and I'm just listening to all the sounds. I'm in the middle of the forest in the mountains and there is nobody around at least not a human i just love it this is like basically the time i'm looking for every week just sitting next to the campfire it's just me for many miles and my dog and there are deer and bear everywhere so perfect spot i love it this would be great for hunting other than that if it's outside of a hunting season hike anywhere right from here um, it's peace and quiet and you just hear the birds and right now I could hear I don't know I guess crickets and a lot of all kinds of noise but it's like very faint it's hard to describe but it's just amazing because there's nothing else around and I look forward to that like I said earlier I'm a teacher all week it's talking I'm talking or a student is talking or I'm telling them to stop talking or we're talking at the same time <laughs> and and then Friday Saturday Sunday I don't hear that one word and if I get lonely I could talk to my dog he listens very well he loves my stories and everything so I just love it this is like camping is the best part of life now if you could um, couple it with hunting or fishing that's even better but camping i can't imagine anything better to do on a weekend than to be out in nature and then whatever it is you do it's your business if you're just gonna sit around and read a book and not move not one step that's fine, you do your thing. Just be out in nature and just just listen and disconnect. There's no cell phone service here. So there's no TV, there's no internet, there's no cell phone, there's no social media. You just have to be without and I absolutely love it. So here I am, day one, the first night in the tent. Um, it's just me and my doggy. Let me see him also. He always sleeps with me. So my tent, the way it's set up, it's a six uh, person tent. So it's nice and spacious. I don't want to be crammed. I have the heater and I have a little nightstand here with water, a few books. These are solar Christmas lights. So if I turn this off, you could still see things. So it is pretty cool. I would suggest if you go camping, you and somebody else, or you and a dog, I would suggest to get a six person tent because when they say two person tent, you're gonna be so squeezed, it's not gonna be fun. Um, a six person tent, what I like about it is that if it was raining 
and I would have to cook here or just spend like my whole evening here. As you could see, I have enough room for a little stove, a cutting board. So it is almost time to go to sleep. It's almost midnight and I am super tired. Uh, the best part is that I don't have to wake up at any given time tomorrow. So I'm just going to turn off all my alarms and it will be the beginning of a fantastic weekend. So good night. Good morning. I slept great. I always sleep so well here. I have a blow up mattress and it's perfect because it's firm so it's not too soft but it's basically like sleeping on air and then you don't have any noise. It's all quiet. It's dark. You don't have cars going by on the street and you don't have lights coming through your window. It's absolutely perfect. This is how a weekend should be. Hanging out with my coffee, my book, some fire. So the first thing I wanna show you is my camping setup. Uh, I basically have everything I need to be able to camp in a place where there is absolutely nothing. This is called dispersed camping. So first of all, here is my tent. I had this tent for almost two years now. So right now it's daytime, which means I will probably not see any deer or bear because during this time the deer at least um, just kind of lay low and sleep. The bear are actually out there trying to eat as much as they can. They try to fatten themselves up for hibernation, but the chances of me running into one, it's not high. But I am looking for signs of these animals, especially bear. So I have seen a lot of bear poop and I love looking at it because it gives so much information. I know a little bit so here is where you come in experienced hunters leave me a comment on any suggestions or any ideas so I'm going to show you uh, all these different pictures that I took and I'm gonna number them so just leave me a comment and let me know what you think. You guys know more than me so I'm trying to learn here. Thank you.
This was the tree yesterday that I had to move out of the way because it completely blocked the road. As you see, it's going along the road now because I moved it, but it completely crossed the road. So you never know when you're going to have trees crossing the road. Uh, we have dead trees everywhere, as you could see, and they could fall over any time. And I was lucky because this one turned out to be super light. I could just basically drag it. But what if it's a huge tree? Often the trees will break in half when they fall, but what if they don't? This one didn't. And then you're basically blocked. What if you're going home and this happens on your way and then you're stuck? So you might have to cut that tree in half. I do not have a chainsaw. So this is something I also need to invest in, but this is one tip to keep in mind, just to be safe. This area is great. I see bear poop every 20 feet. They're old, they're from last year, from what I can tell, but I have seen some that's not that old. So there are dead trees blocking the road. So I know nobody has driven through this and maybe some hikers, but um, maybe some hunters here and there, but I don't think so. So this place is mine. So in June, I have put up my trail cam and then my whole entire summer, I was traveling. I was gone for two months, couldn't even check on it. So I checked it last week. I didn't even think there was gonna be anything on it. And there were actually a lot of still pictures, just, just the trees. So I guess maybe there was a leaf blowing or something. And then I saw a tree rat <laughs> and then I saw this this bear. I was very excited, but I love this area right here where I am. Um, I will probably take my camera down either way and bring it back here because there's nobody that comes here. This is super close to my camping site. Right now, maybe like 25 minutes of um, walking distance and this is what you can see. Come on, sweetie. Come on, sweetie. Hi, baby. Hi, my sweetie. Hi. And I remember driving up here and I was going through Shaver Lake. Once I hit that area and I just smelled the forest, the pine trees and some other type of uh, scent. It was so intoxicating. It was just reminding me of hunting season last year and the year before and driving up to the mountains and just the excitement of going camping and going hunting. And, and even if I don't get anything, that is not the point. You know how they say it's the journey, not the destination. It is so true for hunting and you may not even get to fire your, your rifle the entire season, but not one hunter ever said, I am done with hunting because I didn't get anything. It's the whole chase and, um, and just being out in nature is just so amazing. I love it. I absolutely love it. So as far as protection is concerned, I have a knife right there, ready to go. And 
I have my bodyguard right here. Other than that, I feel pretty safe. I know my dog will always protect me. The only real threat actually is a mountain lion. Bears are not gonna come near me and they're afraid of dogs anyways, so I'm good, mom. My mom is always worried about me. I'm good, thanks. I even finished the book. I started it here and just finished it. And um, this is the one, this is actually in Hungarian. It's called The Promethean Crisis in English, the English um, original version. And it is about a meltdown in a nuclear power plant. I am sort of obsessed with these books because I read the book Chernobyl when I was in Hungary this summer. And I have read it about four times because that is an actual account of what happened i want to go there you could actually visit it now and maybe i'd be crazy to go but i want to see it because when it happened i lived in hungary in the northeastern region and i was there we lived there and i mean i'm okay if you know any other books that are about nuclear power plant accidents leave me a comment and let me know because i want to read it is not something you could just use regular spray paint for you need a protective coating and I eventually asked my mechanic hey Anthony <laughs> and he said you could just buy that at any kind of um, auto parts store so I did so basically this will be my top coat it, this is supposed to work the same exact way as when somebody's painting their car and this is the top car I mean the top coat it says automotive paint that kind of quality so other than that I'm just gonna use my regular um, spray paints that I used before and I'm gonna use the same thing with this thingy some plants so I would say it turned out pretty good um, let's go take a look So overall, I would say it's good. It's still drying, not perfect. Made a couple of little boo-boos like this right here. I could uh, fix that with a paintbrush. Nice and dusty, but it does not have paint on it. And overall, I like it. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect. Camouflage is always kind of like put together real quick. Same thing here. I purposefully made it a little bit different with the positioning, I mean, no one's gonna look at it like that. And overall, I would say it's pretty good. Also, what is it? I was expecting a bear. Can't believe you guys are up here. Can you send a bear over here? cows also leave them alone thank you so much for watching hopefully you enjoyed this video and if so give it a thumbs up and it would mean the world to me if you subscribe to my channel so this weekend I basically accomplished everything I set out to do but even if I didn't it would be okay because it is never a waste of time to spend time in nature so tomorrow is Monday back to work but it is okay because I had a great weekend a fantastic weekend and I recharged my human batteries so I'm looking forward to that and also looking forward to next Friday when I am off to the next adventure so stay tuned